Brakathaya Hawa, Brakathaya Hawa Shai, Brakathaya Hawa, Brakathaya Hawa Shai, Brakathaya Hawa, Brakathaya Hawa Shai. Blessed be the true, holy, powerful, mighty name of the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, And blessed be the true, holy, powerful, mighty name of His only begotten Son, Yahweh Shai, our Lord and our Savior. Nathamash Nakabala, as a common Shara, get up on us to the elders of Israel, being the apostles, and the elders of Great Millstone that rule well. Shalom, Wahabla, Bachar, Shara, Shara, which is peace and love to the elect of Israel. Come back at y'all again with another lesson, Baharaka Kharash, Ahmaf, and the Holy Spirit of Truth. And the title of this video is going to be something along the lines of. The fight is of faith, or it's a fight of faith. Something along those lines, really saying the same thing two different ways. Our battle is a battle of uh, faith and endurance. I was just in the shower uh, watching or listening to some videos and meditating. And um, I can't remember what the brother said. It was the brother Benji. I was watching the elder brother Benji in Chicago, the elder brother Ratazawonia. We affectionately call St. Benji. I can't remember what he said, but I got to meditating on this topic of faith and endurance. Um, you can be the, you know, the flashiest, you know, when it comes to boxing, you can be the flashiest dude, slick, got some real skills, but if your stamina isn't there, your endurance isn't there. You will eventually get outworked as the fight goes on. So maybe in the first round you look miles above your opponent. And then fatigue starts to set in in the second round, the third round, the fourth round. And while you're tired, your opponent is just getting started. All right, all that slick shit you was doing, <laughs> all that shit you was landing in the first couple rounds, your opponent remembers that. Now it's his turn to get off. I say all that to say endurance. Is the name of the game. And that directly correlates with our faith. Let's start off with this scripture. Just to tie it all together. This is 1 Peter chapter 1 and verse 6. Wherein ye greatly rejoice. Though now for a season, if need be, ye are in heaviness through many full temptations. That the trial of your faith, our faith is on trial. Our faith is being examined. And it's being examined through trials. It's being examined through heaviness. And if we endure through these trials and the heaviness and remain faithful, then there's a reward, a great glorious reward. In Hebrews it says, cast not away therefore your confidence, which have great recompense of reward. Confidence means faith. Con meaning with. Fidence goes back to fidelity. With faith, cast not away therefore your faith. Why? Because your faith has a great recompense of reward. This is the book of Oh, same chapter. Let's just continue to read. First Peter chapter one and verse seven, it says the drop. Matter of fact, I'm going to jump down. First Peter one and nine, it says receiving the end of your faith, even the salvation of your souls. The end of our he that endures unto the end or he that remains faithful unto the end. The same shall be saved. Okay. 
Let's jump back up. First Peter 1 and 7, it says that the trial of your faith being much more precious than gold, than of gold that perisheth, though it be tried with fire, that fire is what? Adversity. Sirach, the second chapter. It says, gold is tried in the fire and acceptable men in the furnace of adversity. There's another scripture that says that the Lord has tried us in the furnace of affliction. Okay? It says that the trial of your faith being much more precious than of gold that perisheth, though it be tried with fire, might be found unto praise and honor and glory at the appearing of Yahweh Shai Hamashiach, whom having not seen, ye love, and whom, though now ye see him not, yet believing... That's heavy. Whom having not seen ye love. In whom. Though now ye see him not. We haven't seen Yahweh Shai HaMashiach. With our bodily eyes in this life. I haven't seen the inside of a chariot. With my bodily eyes in this life. I haven't seen the kingdom. And streets paved with gold. I haven't seen any of that. I haven't seen a reward waiting for me for this work that, you know, that we've, that the Lord has allowed us to participate in, but we believe that it's coming. All those things I mentioned, we believe they exist. We're not looking at the things which are seen. We're looking at things that are unseen. It's like it got someone outside doing some. <clears throat> Doing some work. Let me actually move over here. <clears throat> whom having not seen, ye love, and whom though now ye see him not, yet believing, ye rejoice with joy unspeakable and full of glory, receiving the end of your faith, even the salvation of your souls. So we got to endure unto the end. Again, it's about endurance. We've seen some of the flashiest guys come into this truth. Guys like Element from Dallas. Guys like Nazariah from Chicago. Real slick. Guys like Yaradan from ATL. These are sharp individuals, but that endurance wasn't there. Going back into my, to the analogy that I gave in the beginning. Good for a couple rounds, but can't finish the fight. Scripture saying in the book of Ecclesiastes, better is the end of, the, of a thing than the beginning thereof. We must finish our course. It's the book of 2 Timothy 4 and verse 7. It says, verse 6, I start at 5. But watch thou, 2 Timothy 4 and 5, it says, But watch thou in all things, endure afflictions. Endure, right? It's a clear sign of faith. When you're catching hell, when we're being afflicted, when we're in the hottest part of the fire, but we remain faithful. Endure afflictions, do the work of an evangelist, catching all type of hell, but still doing the work of an evangelist, still pushing the good news, the gospel. Make full proof of thy ministry, still standing boldly and stiffly for the name of Yahweh Ba'asham Yahweh Shai. Still defending the gospel. Even though we're being, even though we're in heaviness. Verse 6, for I am now ready to be offered, and the time of my departure is at hand. I have fought a good fight. I have finished my course. I have kept the faith. He have fought the good fight. What, what does that mean? It mean he beat up three niggas? 
It was a 3v1 and Paul whooped all three of them. No, he's talking about the fight of faith. When he was on trial, when his faith was on trial, he fought through it. When he was in the furnace of affliction, when he was in heaviness, he fought through it with faith. And he prevailed and finished his course. Henceforth, there is laid up for me a crown of righteousness, which the Lord, the righteous judge, shall give me at that day. And we are approaching that day. That day is on the horizon, the perfect day. As it says in the book of Proverbs, it says that the just shall shine brighter and brighter unto the perfect day. Shall give me at that day, and not to me only, but unto all them also that love his appearing. But unto all them also that have fought the good fight of faith. Okay? But unto all them also that have watched in all things, that endured afflictions, that done the work of an evangelist and made full proof of their ministry. Unto all them also that love his appearing. That's seeking for the return of Yahweh Shai Hamashiach. Fuck everything else, man. Fuck everything else. Satan gonna come in all different type of type of ways, man. And we just gotta hold fast to our faith. This is the book of 1 Timothy chapter 6. In verse 12. Fight the good fight of faith. Lay hold unto eternal life. Whereunto thou art also called. And has professed a good profession before many witnesses. Fight the good fight of faith. This is for eternal life. That's what's on the line. That's what's on the table. Eternal life. Eternal life is on the table, man. We have to keep the reward at the forefront of our mind. Eternal life. A throne. A crown. Joint heirs with Yahweh Shai Hamashiach. A seat at his table for eternity. We... Speaking to myself first and foremost, cannot let anything get in the way of that. Heaviness through manifold, manifold means a bunch, a bunch of goddamn temptations, a bunch of goddamn hell, a bunch of goddamn heaviness, man, from financial difficulties. Bodily ailments. Troubles in your own house with your woman, with your children. Motherfuckers at your job messing with you. Having to go out into this world and see wickedness. And having to deal even with your own shortcomings. Being in this flesh. Which is desperately wicked and deceitful above all things. These are all part of the list of afflictions. These are all a part of the list of you know, heaviness. We must continue to fight through it. Because the fight is almost over. Now's not the time to be weak. Now's not the time to drop the ball. Now's not the time to be looking back. And really, it's, it's never the time to do that. It's never the time to do that. The Lord said, if any man have his hands on the plow and look back, he's not fit for the kingdom. There's no place for him. Okay? He won't be saved. So we must continue to endure. He that endure unto the end, the same 
shall be saved. This is the book of Luke, chapter 18 and verse 8. I start at 7. And shall not Yahweh avenge, this is in the red letter, Yahweh Shai is speaking. And shall not Yahweh avenge his own elect, which cry day and night unto him? Why are we crying? For all the abominations done in the midst thereof. For the heaviness and the affliction that we're going through. That's why we're crying day and night unto him. In the form of prayer. In the form of these videos and lessons that we do. And our spirit is just constantly groaning to the Father. Yahweh in the name of his only begotten son. Yahweh shy for deliverance and for forgiveness and for salvation. Shall not Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai avenge his own elect which cry day and night unto him, though he bear long with them? I tell you that he will avenge them speedily. Though with Terry wait for it. He's shortening the days for us, man. You see how fast this year was? It's for us. I don't want Ratazah, we be at the elect. I don't want Ratazah, we be at that number. I don't want Ratazah, we endure anything that we must endure to get into his kingdom. It says, through much tribulation shall we enter into the kingdom of the Lord. I don't want to write out. We remain faithful through all that tribulation. He's shortening the days for us. Nevertheless, when the Son of Man come, shall he find faith on earth? That's what he is looking for. When Yahweh Shai returns, he's not looking to see who can memorize the most precepts. Who can speak the most eloquently. Who has the most subscribers on YouTube? Who has the best merch, Israelite merch? Who has the most money off the min? Who made the most money off the ministry? That's not what the Lord is looking for. When Yahweh Shai returns, He's looking for the ones that have faith, and it's going to be scarce. Okay. I know this was a precept that I was thinking about when I was listening to the brother. When the Lord comes, will he find faith? There's guys that had faith at one point. But as the rounds went on, they lost it. <laughs> And now they're in the world bugged out of their mind through. Let's go from there to the book of Hebrews. This was off the fly. I didn't have nothing written out or anything. It's just title came to me and we're here. Hebrews 11 and verse 6. But without faith, it is impossible to please him. For he that cometh to the Most High must believe that he is, and that he is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. King, please the Lord without faith. All right, you got all, you can call a thousand precepts and you know, use these million dollar words. None of that means anything if you don't have faith, if you don't truly believe. None of that means anything if when you catch hell, you don't turn to Yahweh Basham, Yahweh Shai. You get all shaky and you know? It says in the book of James, it says. Faith without works is dead. And vice versa. Works without faith is dead. So you got all these works. You cutting Christians and you got this. You on podcasts and all. If you don't believe. If you don't have faith then. None of that pleases Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. So really that's it man. That's all I had. Like I said. I, something that came into my mind. And I briefly meditated on it. And. Hope and pray that this video was edifying. 
of lifting and exhorting. I want to give all praises to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Racha Kodash. Yahweh is the true, holy, powerful, mighty name of the Heavenly Father. And Yahweh Shai is the true, holy, powerful, mighty name of His only begotten Son, our Lord and our Savior. Racha Kodash is the Holy Spirit that speaks through us, that allows us to rightly divide the word of truth and teach the word correctly and directly. The Thamash Nakabalaz, Komishar Sharal, get up on us. To the elders of Israel being the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone that rule well. Shalom Wahab Labach Yashar Sharala, which is peace and love to the elect of Israel. Shalom Achim, you must keep on pushing, stay sober, stay diligent, stay faithful, stay prayed up. Salvation draw off nigh and redemption is nearer than we believe. Shalom.